second. So let me uh, dive into the demo of the user experience here. It should be shared out. If you can't uh, see my desktop, let me know. So this is actually a good comparison. I'm going to compare. This is CRM online, by the way. So here's my production CRM um, online, which is the current version. And I can jump back and forth. I've got my beta CRM online uh, 2011 open in a different window. So if you look at the 4.0 experience, I've done a little search here. I've done a quick search for 80-20, and I found 80-20 results here. And, you know, you see the things that you can do across the top here. I can make a new activity, but if I make a new activity here, you're probably familiar that that wouldn't be associated with this record here. It doesn't fill that in. I do have this More Actions drop-down menu that some of my users have even figured out how to use. If I uh, open up the form, this is your own form, your standard account form, slightly customized, but not very. You know, you could do this. You go to Activities, and if I click New Activity, it's going to create a new activity, and after about four or five clicks, of course, you never really realize how many clicks this is until you see an alternative approach. I could create a new appointment for this record. If I had the coordination to do this, I could pull down the Actions menu, click Add Activity, and if I could do, oops, select opposite. If you've ever seen this before? Actually, most of my users never discovered that this was here, but when they do discover it, if you just miss that by a little bit, the menu goes away. So there's a couple of little frustrations that I spent a fair amount of time trying to teach around in, in CRM 4.0, but let me contrast that with the 2011 experience. So here we are, kind of a similar situation. I simply navigated to accounts and I typed 8020 in the search box it's off to the right here. Now, if I'm here selected on this record, I could do a number of things here. I could send direct email. The functionality here is pretty similar to what you're familiar with in CRM 4, but this is a lot more obvious. Better screen real estate, which has got more room up here. If I go to this create related ribbon, look what I can do here. I can create every type of activity. If I create a phone call or if I create an appointment from here, notice the selected record automatically gets put in the regarding. So what's that? Two clicks as opposed to about five or six in, 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 in the 4.0 version. So now I just create this and I've already got that popped into the regarding field. So that's a nice little bit of functionality. Notice this other activities drop down. You see training event, you think, hey, wait a second, training event's not a CRM activity. That's a custom activity. I'll show you that in, a, in another section. session. We'll talk about, um, uh, there's a lot of, of enhancements to the customization um, um, functionality that you can get out of CRM 2011 and creating custom activity types is, is one of, is, it's a really important one. So, uh, another thing that I like about this, and we're gonna drill down this a little bit more later today, is the customize ribbon. So here we are on an account record and I'm, again, from accounts, I'm two clicks away from being able to customize forms or views or customize the drill down and customize the entity itself. And um, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of things to like about the ribbon UI. You'll see this in more detail as we, we uh, move throughout here. Let me get rid of that search. And let me drill down now a little bit into what I referred to in the slide deck as sort of productive visualization. So past the kind of gee whiz stuff, let me show you a couple of scenarios that I think illustrate how, how useful this kind of in-place vis visualization can be. So here I am on the account list. And if I expand this over here, you'll see this little area to the right-hand side. You may have seen this before in some of the demos. You know, I can size this a little bit. I could also, if I go to the view menu, I could pull down the charts drop-down if I wanted to, I could change that to the top. This might make sense if I had some sort of a time series chart or something like that. You know, it's more of a bar chart or a line chart. Doesn't necessarily make sense for the, uh, the chart that I have here. So I'll pop it back. For accounts, my, my uh, working with accounts, most of the charts that I use are pie charts because I like to see my accounts distributed. And um, what I can do here when I'm kind of got that chart uh, open there, I'll keep it open. And let me point out the filter. So this new 
filter button on the ribbon. I like a lot. I've come to use this a lot. If you click it, it's a toggle switch, and then you see every column in your view is filterable. So if I want to pop down the CRM platform field, it's a pick list field, or a option set, as we now we'll refer to them henceforth in uh, Dynamic CRM 2011. I can filter, just select the values that I want. So suppose I want to see all my accounts that I've got tagged for using some version of CRM. If I click OK there, now this is pretty cool. Watch what's hap what happens to the chart. So I've applied a filter to the list. Now I've got the option to refresh the chart. I'll normally do that. So now it's filtered the data set and if you've ever wondered in Dynamic CRM 4 how many records you have in a particular list and found yourself having to, what, press the right button, you know, however many times you had to get to the end of the data set and then divide the, you know, times you clicked by 250 or whatever it was. Notice down here, lower left. So I'm looking at 1 to 250 of 647. So for people that live and breathe in Dynamic CRM, that little kind of irritation of, uh, of CRM 4.0 that took so long to figure out how many records you had in a record set, that's gone. So I know, you know, no matter what uh, filter I've applied to um, any list, you'll always see the total number of records down there, which is kind of nice. Now watch what I can do to the chart. I showed you how you could filter by going to a column header, but you can also use a chart to filter too. If I drill down on one of those pieces, so drill down works, but what does it do for me? Well, it's going to apply a filter to that value that I've selected. So now what I want to do to make some sense of this is to distribute the filtered list across something else. Maybe select territory. If I do that, right, so I can just kind of ad hoc. You don't even have to have this chart created beforehand. All you're doing is selecting a different filter. Notice the data set's filtered down now, so I've got 625 records selected. These are just the CRM4 accounts, but now they're filtered out across my territory. So I see there's 175 in Central, my, this is my custom territories. I drill down a little further on that, and let's suppose now it might make sense to distribute that out across all the states, say, in my Central territory. I'll still keep that pie chart. Right, so now it's filtered down to 175 accounts, filtered out across the states. So now I've got a kind of a nice little data set here. What might I do with that? Well, how about add the marketing list? So I can add something to a marketing list. So I've got all those, those selected accounts, right? I'll go ahead and do those, but I want to first create a marketing list. I have to cre I'll create this on the fly, so I'll just create a new one. And I'll call this CRM4 accounts in central. I'll tell it what member type to create going to be an account list. Save and close. There's my marketing list. So now let's go is select all of them. Yeah. So now I've got the marketing list. Bingo. So I use the, the filtering and the charts in particular to, to get some insight about the data and then did actually did something worthwhile with it. Now, so those are just a few of my kind of favorite things about the about the UI. We'll come back to some of those. Let me jump back to the deck for a minute because I want to talk about 